I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor of Rock Valley Christian Church, here with today's time of prayer, and it's inspired by the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, and notice with me here in verse 16 to 18, where it says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Have you ever thought about what the will of God really is? You know, there are different verses in the Bible that talk to us about the will of God and that we should be proving what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. But have you ever thought and just kind of contemplated that the will of God in life for you is to rejoice always, to pray without ceasing, and in everything to give thanks? Now, do you realize how the world would be such a different place if we spend it rejoicing always, praying without ceasing, and in everything giving thanks. See, the reality is that so often we're bombarded with a negativity of our society and our life because there is sin. Because we as human beings will act in selfish ways. And when we act selfishly, thinking of ourselves and not how our actions impact anybody else, we hurt each other and ultimately, all sin is selfishness. It is a lack of love either for God, we're not considering Him, or it is a lack of love for our neighbor. But what this does is help us to keep our minds set that if we are rejoicing, that is, we are remembering why we have reason to rejoice, that we have life, that God is our God, that we've been created, and He blesses us, uh, blesses us with rejoicing. And that causes us to pray without ceasing, to be thankful to God, to honor God, and as he says, in everything give thanks. And so when we look at these verses, we see a way of living that the Bible says, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So the question we have to ask is, how am I living up to this? Am I living this course of life or am I living in the way of the world that might have more to do with complaining and disputing that might be all upset about what's going on that might not be in a state of prayer, but basically maybe in bashing people, putting people down, being discontented with life. Life is an amazing gift and it's meant to be enjoyed. And the thing is, if you will spend just the next 10 seconds being thankful for the blessings that you have, you're gonna feel so much better than you do even right now at this moment. And if you will give 30 seconds to that, and then a minute to praying, to rejoicing and being thankful, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, you're gonna to start to actually feel very positive and energized by it. See, when we do the will of God, we allow God to enter in and to give us life and energy and vitality. It's a part of dwelling with Him when we do His will. But when we do the other things, when we stop praying, when we stop recognizing God, when we stop being thankful and stop rejoicing, we actually feel sapped of our energy. We actually feel a loss because what are we doing but tearing ourselves down? And so let's be those that bring not a spirit of complaining and murmuring or unthankfulness to this world. Let's be those who rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and in everything give thanks. I assure you, your home life, your work life, your neighborhood life, in church, it's all going to be on the rise because you're giving honor to God and you're doing His will. And with that, He can bless us and He can lift us up. So let's ask for His help that this would be our heart and our mindset. Let's spend this time of prayer today rejoicing, praying to Him with great thanksgiving, acknowledging what He has given us. Let's pray.